Hey y'all, how do you like my new haircut? Hey, let me tell you. Let me tell you, I am happier than my sister Tina at a yard sale with a bag full of quarters. Let me tell you why. My cousin Amanda just gave me some more quail. I have more quail. I'm so happy. So these birds look really messy because they are really messy. Um, my wonderful, beautiful cousin, she drove what well, was over a two hour round trip to go and get these birds and she got some for herself also. Unfortunately, the lady sent them home in a plastic tub. There were holes cut in the tub, but they kind of pooped on the floor of the tub and so they got dirty. Um, I'll show you in just a bit uh, some more recent videos of these birds and they look a lot better now that they're dried out and cleaned up. I've given them some sand baths to bathe in. Now this is that mother white leggern chicken and some of the chicks that I have left. I've sold several of them. Uh, I'm going to move them out soon and then I'll get that silver pair of quail separated out from the Texas A&M's. This is the Spark Hona, the Swedish black hen and her chicks. And of course we have a Mama Muscovy duck with some babies. We almost always have baby Muscovies around here. These are my favorite ducks. Y'all know that if y'all watched any of my videos for any length of time. Um, I really do love these. They're just the perfect farmyard duck in my opinion. And I'm happy to tell you about it. Now this is something odd. This is the foam that comes out of the boy quails. This is kind of a, a sperm mixture. There are other people that do videos of Wholesome Roots and Brimwood Farms have done videos talking about this as a way to determine males from females. And I rely more on whether or not the little rooster quail crows. Um, also on coloration. But you can gently squeeze the the little bottom poop hole of the bird and if any of this foam comes out then it is a boy and I didn't do that this came out on its own I just wanted to point that out and show you 
here we are a, a day or two after bringing the birds home and you can tell that they're they're plucked the females they're they're plucked all right but they're they've cleaned up nice and pretty uh, they're already laying the eggs they're getting a high protein game bird diet and like I said I'm gonna get the silver pairs separated from the Texas A&M pair real soon and yeah they flipped over their food bowls those are some plastic bowls that Daniel put in we have traded them out and put ceramic bowls in the cages but you can see there they seem to be happy they're laying eggs they're utilizing the automatic waterers just fine they're they're, they're, they're crowing and, and, and making all kinds of fun noises and we're just real happy to have them. I'm going to redo those rabbit feeders and get some that don't have the perforated bottom because their crumbles are falling out. But look at the size difference from left to right. That's the normal, the Italian in the middle, and then that's either the Texas or the silver, fez, or, or the silver quail on the right hand side and this is even the next day from that they're they're still laying eggs and like I said I have since traded out those food bowls those just didn't work but Catherine is getting the eggs today and she's just amazed at how small they are we've had quail before but she's she's young enough that she doesn't remember having lots of quail that we've had in the past now I'm going to start rambling here, so if you want to go ahead and quit watching and watch one of my other videos, that's okay. But take a moment and make sure that you are subscribed. Click the little bell for notifications. Share this video. I really would appreciate that. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Do you keep quail? Would you like to keep quail? Do you think that I need even more quail? I think I do. Bye. So I'm often asked why I want quail. When I have so many other animals, why would I want a tiny little unassuming quail? Well, there's several answers. Number one, because they're awesome. Now, why are they awesome, you ask? Well, they lay eggs. And then you say, well, chickens lay eggs. All birds lay eggs. Not all birds. Technically, not all birds. Technically, only girl birds lay eggs. Yes. Yeah. Right, Catherine? Girl quails, girl chickens, girl parakeets, only the girls lay eggs. Quail eggs are delicious. They're tiny, and they are super delicious, and yes, you need a hundred of them to make a meal for a large family, but they lay lots and lots of eggs. They lay lots of eggs, you get an egg every day. The chickens lay an egg every day also. But quail eggs taste different than chicken eggs. They it's hard to explain. They're, they're, they're a nicer taste than chicken eggs. But quail also, they mature very fast. And so they'll start laying in just like two, three months instead of seven or eight or nine months for chickens. And so the initial investment is not as much. It's a much shorter time period. You get a return on your investment much quicker. They take up less space, they eat less, they produce, I say they produce more egg per amount of food consumed than even a white leg and chicken. And that's hard to come by. Uh, they do need a high protein food, but they eat, hey Jeremiah, they don't eat a lot of it. And when you set them up in a cage with automatic feeders and automatic waterers, then it becomes very, very simple and easy to keep. Also, I like them because they're just unassuming little birds. They are such easy to keep birds. They rarely cause any problems. I like to keep them in the aviaries with the other parrots and, and pheasants and doves and finches uh, they're just easy to keep and like I said they don't cause any problem and also if you're a homesteader type person they make a nice little meat bird if that is something that you are into um, Catherine's walking around here and she's collecting grasshoppers in a jar 
and uh, of course the birds, the birds are, are noisy. Uh, someone asked me why I do voiceovers. It's, I do voiceovers so that you can hear me because it is noisy at my house. It's either noisy inside with the kids or it's noisy outside with the birds. So that is why I do voiceovers.